Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dhiman Kakoti. So in this video, we will solve a problem on binary to gray code conversion. So in this question, we are asked to find out the gray code for the binary number 101011. So we are given with four options. These are the four options and we have to find out the correct option. Okay. So first of all, we have to understand how we have to convert a binary number to its gray code equivalent. So, if we have a binary number, suppose B3, B2, B1 and B0 and if we want to find out its respective gray code, suppose Z3, Z2, Z1 and Z0, okay. So, this is suppose the respective gray code of this given binary number. So, how we can convert it, we have to know first. So, if we have the binary code in this left hand side, B3, b2 b1 and b0 and suppose on the right hand side we have z3 z2 z1 and z0 okay so how we will convert so there are two steps what we have to do we have to directly write the b3 the most significant bit as z3 okay that means z3 will be equal to b3 Okay, we have to find out Z2 by using the XOR operation. So, what we have to do? We have to XOR B3 and B2 and the result will be Z2. Okay, so let me show you here. So, suppose draw a line from here and you will you say XOR gate. Okay, and this will be Z2. Okay, and this will be Z2. So, what will be the second input? Second input will be this one B2. And similarly for the remaining Z1 and Z0. From here, suppose we make a connection. Suppose from here we are making a connection. We are using a XOR gate again. Okay. And here we have the Z1. These are the two inputs B2 and B1. Here we have B2 and here we have B1. Okay. So this is Z1. So Z2 we can write it as B3 XOR B2. And Z1, we can write it as B2 XOR B1, okay. And for Z0, similarly, we have to make a connection and you say XOR gate again, okay. And here we have the Z0, okay. The second input will be this B0. So, for Z0, we can write this is B1 XOR B0. This is the actual process or this is the logic circuit for the binary to gray code conversion. Okay, this is the logic circuit. On the right hand side, I have written here the conversion formulas. Okay, so we can use these formulas to directly find out the answer. But there is one shortcut also. So let us find out for finding out the respective gray codes. We have to know first of all what is the truth table of this XOR gate. Okay, let me write down here. Let we have x and y these are the input and z is the output. This is the suppose truth table for XOR gate. We will have four combinations. Let me write down here 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay. This is suppose truth table. So for XOR operation, you have to see that when both the inputs are same, the output is 0. Okay. And when the inputs are opposite to one another then the output will be 1 okay 0 and 1 they are different then it will be 1 1 and 0 it will be 1 and the inputs are same 1 and 1 then we will have the output is 0 so this is nothing but the truth table of XOR gate truth table of XOR gate so why we have learned this truth table so here we can see for binary to gray code conversion, this formula, each part we have a XOR operation except the MSB. In the MSB, we can directly write down the most significant binary bit. Okay. So in this way, we will find out the respective gray code for this given number. This is the given number 101011. Now let us find out the respective gray code. So the given binary number is, let me write down here, binary number is, here the binary number given is 101011. 
okay this is the given binary number we have to find out the respective gray code okay so first this is the msb so msb we have to write as it is you can see z3 is the equal to b3 we can directly connect the msb to the input binary bit okay so here we can write directly as it is next this bit second bit second most significant bit this will be the xor operation between the previous bit and this zero okay so here one xor zero what will be the operation so output is one okay for the next bit here you can see zero and one zero and one what is the output it is one again one and zero it is output is one okay zero and one output is one again one and one so one and one this is the output zero okay so this is the respective gray code of the given binary number we have five number of ones and then we have zero now let me show you the correct answer so this is the correct answer one 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 zero this is the correct answer so there is one shortcut also so these are the logic circuit and the background of the binary to gray code conversion but in the exam you might not have this much of time okay so for that you can use one shortcut so let me show you here suppose we are given with 101011 this is the given number so what shortcut we can do so what we will do first msb will be as it is next we have to add this to bit 1 plus 0 it is 1 okay we have to neglect the carry also so again 0 plus 1 it will be 1 1 plus 0 it is 1 0 plus 1 it is 1 and 1 plus 1 sum is 0 and the carry is 1 so let me write down here the sum and we have to neglect the carry part this is the respective gray code so this is the shortcut so in the case of mcq question in the examination point of view so what are the steps msb you have to write as it is then you will add the previous number or the previous bit to the next bit and in the next output you will write here similarly for here this previous bit 0 and this now the present bit this is 1 so 0 plus 1 it will be 1 and there is no carry and if there is carry also we have to neglect it okay so here now 1 plus 0 it is 1 and the carry is 0 0 plus 1 it is 1 then and in the last case 1 plus 1 the sum is 0 and carry is 1 and we have to neglect the carry so this is the solution of this problem thank you